welcome back to another LKSA biking video. Today we are going to be installing the KS Rage Eye dropper post. All right, so here is the KS Rage Eye dropper post. We are going to unbox it. Here's the post. Here's the cable. Oh, this is important. Alright, so these are our three little items that are very important and we are going to get right ahead into installing. Okay, so what we're going to need first is going to be the dropper post. We're going to need the cable with the cable housing. The actuator. We are going to also need some cable cutter. We're going to need a ruler, an Allen wrench, and we're going to need some grease. And then finally, the lever. And then for cleaning, I have chosen the biodegreaser by Muckoff. Okay, so first of all, to begin with, I am going to be t removing the seat post that's already in here, and I'm going to set it aside. Following that, I am going to take off the seat clamp, just like that, and I'm also going to set this aside. Next. Okay, so this is where the degreaser comes along. I am going to be spraying and just kind of wiping it off. Make sure that it is pretty clean and free from sand. You can see I got a lot of sand and debris, so you want to make sure you get all that off. Okay, so I forgot to mention that you will also be using or needing an internal cable routing tool. This will make the installation of the dropper post easier. If you don't have one of these, you can still install it, but it will be a little bit challenging to make the cable go throughout the hole. Okay, so on your bike, you will need to find a little hole for where the cable can come out of. And we have determined that this is where mine's going to be coming out of. It's also going to come out through here, going back in and then coming out through this hole as well. And then I'm going to be installing the lever here, which is where the cable will connect. You're going to want to remove the existing wire so that you can then attach the routing wire onto here. just like so. And we're also going to be setting this aside. Okay, so first you're going to want to remove the rubber seal. And then this is where you are going to start inserting the wire. And with a magnet, you're going to want to do like so, just to guide it out through the next hole. Okay, so once you have found the housing wiring tool that's going to help you route it, you're going to want to take it out, like I said. See that it's kind of a little 
difficult like this. Now imagine if you didn't have this tool to help you. All right, once it's out, we are going to take that and we are going to bring it up through that hole. Again, with the magnet, you are going to want to locate it. All right, so once you have taken it out of this hole and you're gonna want to bring it under all the way to this next hole, and then you're going to bring it out through Okay, so next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect the magnet to the end and by doing that you're going to just pull now you're going to want to connect and install your lever okay so I have found out how much I need. I measured it with a dropper post and I have decided that I need to cut off about an inch. Okay, so next you're going to want to grab your wire that you took off before inserting the wiring tool that you used to insert the cable. You're going to want to insert that through here. just going to make its way through the cable until it pops up through the other end. There you go. You're going to want to put back your ferret on. So through the tip, you're going to want to press it back in there. Okay, so it is extremely important that you have measured the cable housing to the correct measurement and that the ferro ferret thing is plush onto this area right here to avoid problems with cable tension later on all right so for my bike i am going to need just about this much of the cable wiring so i'm going to cut off the rest of it Okay, so next you're going to want to grab your cable barrel actuator that came with your package, your dropper post. And you're going to want to insert it, but just through the very tip, not all the way in, right about there. With an Allen wrench, you're going to want to find the correct measurement that fits the bottom of it. And you're going to want to tighten it. Tighten them both both sides and make sure that it is tight enough okay after this has securely you have made sure that it is secure you're going to want to insert it this way make sure that it goes in like that and then that that is in there like that so this is where the grease comes in play I'm going to want to grease just the outside to prepare it for the clamp we're just gonna go around it with your finger all 
the way around. All right. Then you're going to want to insert your clamp and I wiped it off with the the grease the the greaser. And then you're going to want to go ahead and wipe off the excess of the grease. And anywhere that your hands got grease on. Afterwards, I am going to insert this back on. So before you insert it all the way, you just want to make sure that it is properly working. So I'm going to check mine and it is functioning the right way. After that, you're going to want to put some grease on that. So I'm just going to put some good amount of grease on there. All the way around. You know the vibes. Just like so, you're gonna want to distribute it all the way around. You know the vibes. All right, <laughs> after that, you're going to for real this time put it in. Okay, so the problem with my bike is that it has a very limited base insert. So like my max is like probably like that. Um, so Lance did have a lot of trouble finding um, a dropper post that was the size for mine. And this is where we found the KS Rage I. Um, I had previously had one, but it was too high because of the same reason that my bike has a very limited base insert. So. KS Rage I is the way to go. You always have your boyfriend trying everything. But it's still too short for him. He has he's obviously taller than I am, so he has longer legs. But it's actually perfect for me. ahead and like comment and subscribe I know it's too short for you um, 
yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button just to make sure you don't miss out on our next videos. See ya whenever we see ya.